Hi folks, Mikey Bly here, and we are back with the yellow demo of Chromatos. Um, we've got the key to Imogen's Mumsy's master bedroom, and methinks we shall be um, meeting her, well, I don't know, final form pretty soon. And it's going to be quite something. Wait, no, this is the wrong way. Ha, <laughs> sorry. I forgot. Forgot Imogen's room's on the left, but Mom's room is on the right. Um, we haven't had any card battles yet, but I'm assuming that the card battle is going to come here. When we... Uh, I wonder if... Oh boy. Well, that's usually a bad sign. I wonder if I could leave Imogen and come back. Now we probably need imaging with us, right? Okay, let's do this! I'm ready! Oh, my body is prepared. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Finally have a car battle. So, can I... How do I... Can I take all my cards? I forget how this works, if I'm being honest with you. I think I can. I'm gonna just take all of my cards then. I don't really, I don't really care. Uh, okay, so, oh cool, the confidence cards, destroy all X cards, turn all other cards into, okay, so we want, and this is what confused me, the, the way the cards work there, you see the one on the, uh, it's, you know, it's remembering which way around it works. So I want the spark at the top, you know, so, and for these ones it's, Copies the normal effect of the last card played. Copies the inverted effect. Oh my god, how am I meant to remember this? They're regular cards. Uh, block attacks. Increase frequency of attacks. Uh, add time. Subtract time. Okay, I'm starting to. I'm starting to remember. Don't look back. Oh no! I ignored the. I ignored the advice immediately. This should be a fun little encounter. Right, okay. Whoa, okay, now I remember, yep. Oh, he highlights up the good stuff now. Oh, oh yeah, it takes a while to use these ones. Now I remember. Good, 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 good. That one's bad, I don't want it. Oh shit, I have to use it. Oh no. Good, good, bad, good. Oh no, 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 no. Oh shit, no. Ah, nuts, I'm screwed. I can't hurry up, I can't use any cards. Oh. Ah, oh, I can't click because I've got no time. Ah, damn it, I can't. No. I'm gonna try again. I uh, these, these car battles are so difficult. I could do this. No, I can't. I think. All right. So I'm pressing up. Oh shit! No, I'm not. Sorry. Ah, uh, already taken two of my cards out. Can I get some of my X cards back, please? Come on! No! Oh, for Pete's sake! Ah, uh, no! Come on! Use! Okay, I'm just trying to be faster, but it's difficult. Oh, I got some back! Oh, you really? Oh, come on! No! Oh, you jerk! Come on, come on, come on! Give me some cards back! Stop taking them off me! Come on, give me cards! Jerk, 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 jerk! Yes! Do you know how much, that's a lot of, you've really got to be on the ball, and you've got to be fast, and do you know, I, I'm so not fast enough, oh. 
Oh, okay. Ow, ow, ow. This stuff really stings. That stupid dog. How am I supposed to hide something like this? What do I do? Oh, so the dog bit her? The dog mauled her arm? I didn't know anything about a dog before. It's the middle of summer too. Do I go to wear long sleeve shirts until I get better? Mum will kill me if she sees this. Do I have to skip school? What if I get sent to the nurse and she calls home? What if that dog knows where I live now? What if, what if, so it was all, it wasn't her dog. It was just like either a stray or like somebody else's dog. Oh God, she's so paranoid about getting told off for being what, hurt. Was that mom? Mom's home already? I can't let her find me here. I can't let her find me at all. Are uh, you doing okay over there, Imogen? I can bandage that arm for you. I am an EMT after all. I mean, I might not be a fully fledged like surgeon doctor, but I can still do basic medical procedures. You gotta give me something. Just give me something, make me feel better about my role. I think I'm fine. I rubbed in the antibiotics, like you said, and now I antibiotics. Yes, okay. Cover you around with a fresh sterile non-stick bandage. R uh, right. Okay. Got it? Do you need my help? Nuh-uh. I could do it all by myself. See? She's done already? That was pretty fast. Did you remember to rinse with water first? Uh-huh. Did you take some Advil? Product placement? Uh-huh. Sounds like you did a good job. How do you feel? Really good. How do you feel? Huh? How do I feel? What do you mean? Hey, this kid is, is, is wise beyond her years. You burned your hand. Remember? Oh, right. I burned my fingertip a bit when I picked up that hockey. It doesn't really hurt, just a little sensitive. But she's got a good memory and she's got she's good, she's caring. There. All better. Well if that's not just the most gosh darn adorable little bloody yeah. Uh... <laughs> Thank you for the plaster. She's so touching. She put a colourful bandage on my finger. Oh You can't say it, you can't you can't <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't know why that really made me emotional. <laughs> All this shit she's gone through. And she still finds time to think about me and my little... wimpy burnt finger. Thanks, Imogen. You're just like an EMT. Duh. It's in my name. Imogen C... Medicine T... T... Imogen C Medical Technician? Emergency! 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 <laughs> How did I not pick up on that earlier? Wow, do I feel slow on the uptake on that one. Yes! I'm that. I'm an emergency medical technician. That's adorable. All things considered, I'm sure Imogen would actually make a great EMT if she wanted to be one. I think this kid could be anything she wants to be, but I think she was being held back by her mum. Was that a door? Is her mum close by? Sounds like your mum's on the move again. Let's get you back to your room where it's safe. Oh, uh, okay. I feel pretty bad about dumping her in here. Leroy! Oh, she looks so much happier now. Okay, maybe can I rest, you think? Get my mental step back? Okay, uh, you can't fit in here, but you can use my blanket for it if you wanna. Okay. Oh, now I'm only stressed out. Can I get any higher than stressed out? Do I need to? Probably not, huh? I don't want to overstay my welcome, you know, but maybe we can have a bit of a regular chat. 
Do you unwind? Yeah, that sounds fun. We can go to my hideout. The game room. I've got it all set up so mom can't get in. But mom could be behind any door we open right now. Can you walk me there? Pretty please? Oh, I love it. The big dog. Looks like your mom didn't see us. I don't think she's hiding in here either. I don't think she's got the capability of being quiet, so I think we're okay. Okie dokie, uh, hold the door shut for a sec. Uh, what are you doing? Securing the door. So mom can't get in, remember? That's a pretty good knot right there. Right. You know what? That's actually an incredibly good idea. But what a ghastly looking knot. Looks like it would work though. I feel kind of silly for not thinking of blocking doors earlier. Good thing Imogen's so on top of things. She is. She really is. She's much more capable than we are. She should be the main character. Leroy should be relegated to the back ranks because he's he's not been the, he's not been the most useful of people. Just because of his lack of picking up on things, though, I've got to be honest. Almost done. Ow. She's been doing stuff like this despite being scared and in pain. Man, she's resilient for rage. Kids tend to be. But that's a sad thing, really, with it, isn't it? Because they can be so resilient, but that means they don't tend to speak up as much. Because I think so many of them are afraid of being told off for even speaking up about things. And repressing all that stuff can be really harder when you get older. Believe me, okay? Try not to repress stuff. Speak up for yourself. I know it's difficult. I don't know. It, 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 it's really hard. Uh, I'm better on it now than I used to be. But uh, it's still it's still hard. Imogen, hang on. Let me help, okay? You, you need to put it under the doorknobs. I think I know what you mean. Like this, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, we should be okay now. I think. I doubt anyone could get that door open now. Not even us! We're stuck here forever! Yay! Nobody can get through my legendary slipping devil knot. It's like a Chinese finger trap and a noose put together. If you try to force the door open, the knot gets so tight that the door becomes unopenable forever. Wait, that's not as good. I was only joking. I don't want us to be stuck in here forever. How would that work? Oh, but what if she has an axe? What if she just chops down the door or something? I'm starting to get used to this. Just have to be rational with her. Are there any axes lying around in the house, though? No, I guess not. But you saw her. What if she can breathe fire like a dragon or... What if she has psychic powers and can open doors with her mind? Wouldn't she have already done that if she could? Probably. Maybe. I hope so. I'm sure we're safe in here. You should relax. If you think so, I trust you. So, uh, this is your hideout, huh? Cozy, got to say, I'm very really tempted to just not go and just not bother trying to save anybody else and just stay here, to be honest. Yes, well, it is now. I don't know if it always was. Uh, what do you mean? I don't remember. I forgot a lot of stuff. I don't know why. Another amnesiac. Oh, of course, it's a common theme. It goes without saying. It's scary. You're not alone. I don't remember a lot of stuff too. It's part of this place we're in. Oh yeah, you said we're in a magic place with lots of houses? Sort of. It's hard to explain. See, now there's lots of people who are really close to being dead and I can slip in and out of their subconsciousness and I'm trying to stop them all from being dead. And I mean, I guess that includes you, but try not to panic. You're nearly dead, but you're not dead. Okay? You're fine. You're all good. But isn't magic supposed to be good? I don't like it here at all. Neither do I. I guess it's more like a curse. Oh, am I cursed? Are we cursed? Did we do something bad? Damn. Here we go. I'm not ready for this. 
Uh, well, um, how do I say this? Uh, we aren't cursed. We're sick. She's got a point though. Maybe we are cursed. This is not a normal situation, that's for sure. Sick? How? Well, we're both in a coma. Do you know what that means? No. Basically, we're asleep in the normal world, but we can't wake up on our own. At all? Forever? Do you remember what I said about the ambulance? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, oh, considering you remembered a lot of other things, I'm surprised you only think you remember that. Anyway, uh, that ambulance is special too. If you get on it, it'll take you back to the normal world. You'll wake up. I get it. That's the real reason you wanted me to go, right? You fibbed. You can't really fix my arm in here, can you? Honestly, I think we did all we can. To fix it for real, we have to wake you up somehow. Oh. I should change the subject. Yeah, it's getting a bit hot. I just said hot and heavy. Totally not what I meant. It's getting a bit heavy. It's getting a bit heavy in here. Just heavy. Don't need any other. Don't need any other words there. Just, just heavy. This is a nice room. Well, that was lame. An attempt was made anyway. Yeah, Leroy, absolutely, still sucks at small talk. Uh, yep, yeah, I like it in here. Do you want to play a game? Depends what kind of game you want to play. There's nobody called Jigsaw kicking around, is there? Yeah, what kind of... Yeah, thank you, Leroy. Thank you for relaying my thoughts there. Well, there's lots of board games. I love board games. Board games, huh? I know, I know. Uh, wait here. <gasps> chess. I love chess. I'm awful at chess, but I love it. Will you play with me? I love chess. Uh, well, oh no, does Leroy not know how to play? Oh man, what do I do? I don't really want to beat a little girl at chess. That sounds terrible. Well, let her win then. So you do know how to play, but you're just worried about being a jerk. I think she's probably going to be better than you think she is. Maybe not right now. Please, Leroy. Please, please, pretty please. Okay, one game. Just one. Yay! Uh, which colour do you want? You can pick. And is, is it white to go first? In chess? I forget. I think it is, isn't it? Mm, black. Weird. Guess I thought you'd want to go first. Yeah, I was right. It's been a while since I played chess, actually. Even so, so much I love playing it, I've got no way to play with. <laughs> My dad used to beat me all the time, though. Anyway. Cool. Uh, I'm white, then. Okie dokie. Don't go easy on me because you're grown up. I'll try not to. She beat me. She's gonna beat me, isn't she? Checkmate! Meh <laughs> Wait, what? What? You went easy, even though you said you wouldn't. Wait. So wait, she picked black. Alright, pawn, pawn. <gasps> oh, she freed up the queen! Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Oh shit! Is that the fastest you can checkmate somebody in chess? How, why did I do that? I definitely didn't. I barely made two moves. It was it barely. You made two moves. That's all you made. You, you only made two moves. Leroy. I, uh, uh, I hadn't even thought up a strategy yet. I was just moving my pawns while thinking about what to do. And somehow I already lost. Yeah, after she moved that first pawn and unblocked the queen, you should have really thought about... You dumb dumb. I want a rematch. And play for realsies this time. Fine, I guess. Okay, it's fine. I was just overconfident. I'll win this time. It was a fluke. Let's switch. Can I be white this time? She sat kneeling on the desk. Oh, uh, sure. I don't care either way. They don't beat me either way anyway. Yay! And go! What is this, a race? 
Got you. Checkmate again. No way. Wait. Wait. Right. Uh, I at least I moved a few more pieces this time. Leroy, how do you keep getting yourself into these crappy situations? How do you even do that? Uh, I was just checking. Definitely check, man. You're way too good at this. You tricked me. I didn't trick you. I said I love chess. I've been playing by myself since I got here. You know, since more and more play with me. Fair enough. You win. Good job. Can't believe the little girl just destroyed me at chess. Well, Leroy, you, you're, you're not a good player. I'm gonna have to be honest with you here, Budski. Want to play again? Uh, how about we play something else? Got any other games you like that I might have a chance at winning? Don't think my pride can handle losing again. <laughs> we're a nice guy, but we're not that nice. Uh, sure. How about Mancala? The stones are so pretty. Well, this should be easier than chess. Cool. Let's do it. I've never played that game. I've never played that one. I'm gonna have to look that one up. I win. Damn it. Leroy, you said a bad word. I was just about to mention that, you know. Are you mad? No. Sorry. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at me. Me and my dumb old brain. She's some kind of genius or something. This is humiliating. Do you want to pick something else? We can play whatever you want. I don't mind. Hmm. I want to play what you want to play. So there. Oh my gee, she got me. Let's see, she seems to be really good at these strategy games. I wonder what would happen if I tried something else. Is there a deck of cards over there? I think so. I'll check. You sure you don't want me to look? It's okay. I can find them by myself. She's, she's very keen on doing things on her own. The independent streak. I guess because she's been here so long on her own, she wants to do things on her own. She's learned to do things on her own, right? I found him. Why is she giving me puppy eyes? Wait, maybe she wants me to praise her or something? Uh. Thanks for getting these. Oh, she does. She doesn't get that kind of attention from her mother, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, what's the game? I'm gonna put all the cards on the table face down. Then we'll each take turns flipping two cards. Are we playing pairs? Matching pairs. Uh, what then? If your cards match, you get to keep them. So if you flip over two queens, you take them off the table. The person who gets the most cards wins. It's a very simplistic game, but the thing is her memory puppy's a lot better than ours too, so she's gonna remember where all the cards are. What's more fitting than two amnesiacs playing a memory game? That's a good point. What if they don't match? Then you flip them back over. I get it. Can I go first? Sure. Oh no. I already saw this one. Uh, no? Oh. Huh. Seems like her memory's pretty crap. Didn't expect that. Neither did I. I thought she'd be quite the memory whiz. You have so many cards. I think I can't win anymore. Hmm, there's that tactical instinct again, though. Probably not, but that's okay. Now we're even. Okie dokie, we're even. Can we play again? Shit, I've been playing games so long, I forgot what we were supposed to be doing. I'm sorry, Imogen. We can't play anymore for now. Why not? Mom's not here. Well, you know how I said there were other houses here? Uh-huh. Well, there are other people inside. They need my help too. If I can get my thick head around the task. Um, so I need to get moving. What about me? What about Mom? What if she gets me after you're gone? I'm only 11. My life hasn't even started yet. I'm not leaving forever. Just for a little while. Well, please don't leave. Please. 
Staying here won't get anything done, and it would definitely cost me a lot of time. Draws eyes. Oh god damn it! Ugh. Staying a bit longer is the right thing to do. This has to be the scariest coma world I've seen so far. And she's trapped alone. I'm probably going to hate myself with this later, but Imogen needs me here a little longer. I'm only doing this because I know it's only the yellow demo, so it's not going to affect the main game. That's <laughs> the only reason I'm doing this. A lie, I would probably do it in the real game too. Sure, I can stay a little while longer. Want to beat me at chess again? R really? You're staying? Thank you. Sorry for being a crybaby. You took care of my arm after he got hurt, and you're staying with me to make sure I'm okay. You're like the big brother I never had. I'm not all that. <laughs> but thanks. White or black? Black. Oh, that's the end of the demo. I really enjoyed that one. Oh, sh that's such a... Every single character. I have loved every single bloody character. Even the bad characters that we both did too. Like the, the, the villainous ones. I am really, really looking forward to getting to play the full version of this whenever it surfaces but this is a nice little it's going to keep me going it got me back into the world again which is great because it got me head back in the got my head back in the game so it's just it, it's keeping this game that's kind of top of my mind um absolutely just again i love it i love the design of it i love the, the feel of it i love the characters i love the i mean the card game itself is is a bit difficult but you can change the difficulty settings so i was playing it on normal so yeah i think you can make it easier than that but i like to like i've got to at least beat it on normal I can't, i've got to be at least a normal gamer can't just do everything on easy ah okay super fun thank you akabaka for releasing a little extra teaser i loved it i'm really looking forward to the full game uh, okay, if any of you have not played any of this demo for yourselves yet, here's another chance for you. The link is in the description below, so you can go and download the demo, give it a whirl. Sure, I can back some love. Please leave some reviews. Either way, constructive criticism helps just as much as endless prayers, I find. But I've got nothing to complain about. I really liked it. Really loved every second of it. <laughs> okay, before you go, don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed me dipping my toe back into chromatose again next time um could be the full game we could be diving right in there with the full game next so we'll see uh yeah, oh yeah but if you want to see the rest of the full game when it comes out you need to want that subscribe button so that you actually you know you know when my videos come out and stuff so you do that too if you haven't done that already all right i've been mikey bye and i hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning afternoon evening or night and i'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.